We came over here on the 1st of April and the day before, it was a Saturday, I did some sparring and um, my knee went. Didn't know too much about what, what it was but it swelled up something chronic that night and I was freaking out about it a little bit because I was like, there's no way I'm not boxing. Um, so we got on the plane on um, the Sunday, went straight on the Monday to see the um, to see the doctors at, at the village, um, our New Zealand ones, um, where they said, we're going to send you for an MRI and at that point I was just like, are you kidding? Like, I should never have come and talked to these guys, they're just going to the other side, I cannot box. Um, but it came back, I've torn, I've torn my um, ACL. Um, so what we had to just do is, it was all, they assured me it was my decision, what I made, so I said I'm going to get in there ring no matter what, and so we, um, we just worked on a process to get my knee to the best it could be, um, and look, it survived and got me a bronze medal, so <laughs> I'm happy. Unfortunately I couldn't do the opening ceremony, I, I didn't tell anyone back at home, I didn't want anyone to know about my injury. Um, one, I didn't want my opponents to know it's a weakness and uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to be able to mentally get through that. Um, so I made the decision not to go in the opening ceremony too long standing on it. We were trying to get it to the best it could and um, hey look, that paid off because it was so well rested um, for that fight um, against in the quarterfinals. So and I, I did feel it in that fight um, but was able to push through it and then of course um, it, just, it just wouldn't do what I wanted it to do in this fight with Anya. Um, she's a very good boxer and loves to go, you know, she's got some lovely straight jabs and um, I needed to get on angles and I just, I couldn't do that unfortunately, but hey, it's the way it is and look, I've still got a bronze, okay? <laughs> Absolutely, and we're really proud of you for that and so is New Zealand. I mean, you've become one of the team favourites. Oh. How, do you, how do you feel about all the support you've been getting from back home? Quite overwhelmed. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm honestly crying all the time. Um, it's the, it's the weirdest feeling when you're getting messages from people, like of course my friends are going to message me and say they're proud of me, but just people just saying that they're proud of me and um, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's, it's so humbling and it's really, you kind of ask yourself like what did I do to, to deserve such lovely people saying things like that for me, so um, this is for you guys, eh? honestly, I, I just keep that in the back of my mind, I was so proud to represent my country. Um, I've never represented on this level before and I cried when I got my given my top that has New Zealand and guard on on the back and yeah the whole thing's just been a, a real big journey and mentally as well you know I had to have some mental toughness there so yeah to those people that have supported me and people I don't even know that have supported me I'm, I thank you I really do.